Greetings Gaming World fans, another exciting review for you. This time it's long overdue and I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. It's Elite Dangerous on the PC. <coughs> Wonga! Um, with me by special request also, I've got a guest again. It's none other than Red Michael. Say hello Red Michael. Oh, hello Gaming Mill. Thank you for letting me back on your podcast. It's great to be back here and to be witness to all of your skills. Um, it's actually a video broadcast, uh, Michael. It's not a podcast. Well, to me, they're all the same. I don't care. Do you know what? I don't care about anything. I could be dead. I wouldn't even care. I'm careless. I'm footloose and careless. That's what I am. Everyone knows that. I'm a rebel. Oh, okay, Michael. Anyway, uh, not seen you all week and you look a bit different, Michael. Yes, I stayed in because I decided to grow a beard all week. So you stayed in just to grow a beard? There's nothing unusual about that game in Milk. A lot of people do it. It's not unusual. Believe me, I know these things. I've noticed that it's quite long, Michael, and blonde. You're not blonde. Well spotted, Gaming Mill. No, I'm not blonde. Um, I am mouse coloured on my top of my head. But the rest of my hair, my body, and my chest is dark and curly and lots of it. And if you go further south to my nether regions, it's jungle time. Well, thanks for telling me that, Michael. Um... Anyway, I've got something to put to you. I saw you about two days ago. You can't have done Game of Milk because I've not been out once. All I've been doing is watching Jeremy Kyle and Three Blind Mice. Three Stooges. No, Michael, I saw you in the shop buying a frozen pizza. I haven't been to Tesco Gaming Mill, so you can't have seen me. Who said anything about Tesco? You said I've been... To... You... You just did. You said I went to the shop. I didn't say Tesco, though, did I? No, you just, you just call him a bluff, because you just know that's the, that's the only place I like to go shopping, so you're just making it up. You're a bluffer. That's what you are. So I wonder you got no friends. No one likes a bluffer. The worst than a liar, a bluffer. I'm telling you, Michael, it was you I saw. You're just bluffing Gaming Mill. You can't prove it was me. Michael, I can spot you a mile away with those big red cheeks of yours, and you didn't have a blooming beard then either. Well, if you're watching that close, then it really was me. You know what I thought pizza it was then? Yeah, it was ham and pineapple. No, you, you're wrong there, you bluffer. You, you, you bloody blind, you bluffer. You blind bluffer. That's what you are, because it wasn't that. It was a triple cheese feast. Just drop yourself in it, Michael. You're a spy gaming mill. You're a, you, you're a bluffing spy. That's what you are. No, you're not. You're a bastard spy. Bastard spy. BS. Michael. BS. BS. Bastard spy. BS. Michael, BS. calm down. Bastard spy. That's what you are. Oh, you're watch your, Michael. Spy, watch the language. Come I on. I fucking hate you, Gabriel. You're bullshit, bastard Michael. spy. Michael. I'm going to have to cut this in a minute. He quite finished now. That was embarrassing. Sorry, Gabriel, no, but... I don't know what to say. How about you start with telling me why you've done it? All well, the ladies like a man with a beard, don't they? Is that the only reason? Well, why, why else would I do it? Well, how have, you, how have you done it? Well, the way I did it, it's quite ingenious. You'd be proud of me. I saw a dolly in the shop window of Help Me Aged. Only 50p. You mean a doll? Yeah, Barbie dolly. Anyway, I saw it and I thought, I've got a good idea. So I cut all the air off her head. And what did you do after that? Well, I spent the next few days trying to work out a way I could stick it onto my face. And how have you stuck it on your face? I did it three different ways. First of all, I just tried using that timeless classic a mixture of flour and water, but it just got all caked up and it looked like I got a skin condition. It looked blooming horrible, all flaky, dandruff on my beard. So I washed the dolly's hair off and I tried uh, this wallpaper paste I found in the cupboard. And I, I tried that and it sort of stuck on, but I got a bit in my mouth. But the wallpaper paste has got this antifungal treatment in it. It's highly toxic to human beings. So I was dead sick for two days. That's why I've been staying in. And then, uh, so I, I didn't know what to do. So I just thought, I thought, I just thought I was going to give up. But then I thought, I oh, know, I've got another idea. Super glue. Why didn't I think of it first off? That's the best way. You do realise that's going to be permanently stuck to your chin now, don't you? Yeah, no. That's that's what I wanted to do anyway. So you're actually going to go out looking like that? Yeah, I'm going to go out tonight looking like this. I don't care. If I was dead, I wouldn't care. What's the matter? Don't you like it? Well, it's a bit patchy. You're a wanker. You what? You're a wanker. What are you calling me that for? Because you are. You're a wanker. W why have you suddenly decided to call me that? You just called me a bastard. Never did. Didn't say anything. Yes, you did. You just called me a bastard. Michael, I didn't say anything of the sort. I said it looked a bit patchy. Oh, sorry, Gaming Mill. My mistake. Must have misheard you. More fool me. Please forgive me. You're not being sincere there, are you, Michael? Listen, I'm sick of this. Your outbursts and everything. What outbursts? I don't know what you're on about. I'm just being me. You told me to be me. Yeah, but I didn't mean keep swearing. You don't swear like that normally. If you carry on, my next guest isn't going to be you. I'm going to get, 
I'm gonna get Giant Curtis on. You wouldn't get Giant Curtis on what with his big girl's voice. You wouldn't say that to his face, would you? Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. He'd kill you. He'd do his best. I don't care. Don't care if I'm dead. Anyway, let's wrap this up. Uh, Elite Dangerous on the PC. Overall, I'm gonna give it nine and a half out of ten. What are you gonna score it, Red Michael? Do I have to give it a score at a numbers gaming mill? Oh no, not really. If you don't want to. No, I don't, cause I like living outside a convention. I got my back to the world, you see. I like doing things a bit different. I think I'm gonna try a different scoring system. What scoring system are you gonna use? I think I'm gonna try and use the sense of taste for a scoring system. Hmm, sounds interesting, Michael. So, what score are you gonna give Elite Dangerous? Overall gaming mill. I'm gonna give this game. The score of savoury. Okay, well, thanks for that, Michael. Um, thanks for watching, Game Mill fans. Uh, keep your cobbles dry. Say bye, Michael. See you, Game Mill fans. Thanks for watching this podcast. The video. With me, Michael. Keep your cobbles dry. Keep your dry. dry. Wonder. Yeah.